Newsflash, not all virgins are chaste, and you don't have to be a virgin to practice chastity. Hey there, I'm Bianca with The Culture Project. There's this lie in our culture today that once someone has lost their virginity, they can no longer pursue purity. It's no longer for them. But that's only if we continue to see through the lens that virginity and chastity are the same thing, not the same thing. They're not synonymous for one another. And assuming so is actually very harmful. Now this may come as a shock to some, but not all virgins are chaste and not all chaste people are virgins. Just because someone may be a virgin, it doesn't mean that they're living out chastity. Exhibit A, the virgin bachelor. He's a perfect example of someone who may be a virgin, but is certainly not living out chastity. Here, let me explain. Virginity is just a declaration of sexual history. Whereas chastity, chastity is about the whole person. Chastity isn't about our past, it's about our present and prepares us for our future. Chastity is a virtue, a lifestyle. While saving sex and all sexually intimate acts for marriage is a significant part of the virtue of chastity, it's not all that it entails. Chastity doesn't make judgment on our sexual history. Chastity is striving through purity in my thoughts, words, and actions. It's saying yes to love and all that it demands. It requires sacrifice, consistency, discipline. It is a proper integration of our passions and desires. Either we are the masters of our passions and desires or we are ruled by them. Let me tell you, this description does not fit the virgin bachelor. Who is more chaste? The man who is not a virgin, but has recommitted himself to the virtue of chastity and is striving daily, or a man who just happens to have accidentally remained a virgin because of how busy he was and now wants to use the fact to make loads of money so he can become a reality TV star and loses his virginity in a very special episode? Look, maybe there's something I don't know, but between the multiple makeout sessions with the different girls and the not so subtle marketing, it's certainly how the show is playing it. The Bachelor is not a master of his desires. The end goal of chastity isn't sex. The end goal of chastity is heaven. That's why married couples are still called the virtue of chastity. We do a grave injustice in our culture today by belittling chastity to virginity. Chastity goes so much wider, deeper, and greater than just that. In fact, it's the surest way to happiness. We will mess up, we will stumble and fall. Chastity isn't a perfect people's only club. But through it all, we must never forget that we have a merciful God, a God who desires nothing more than to shower us in his never-ending love and mercy. So to the chaste person, who isn't a virgin, and to the virgin who's struggling to be chaste. Never give up, keep fighting, and don't cave to the cultural pressures. You are deserving of so much more than what this culture tries to offer you. Hey, click here to subscribe, and here to check out more videos. Yeah.